Okay, so welcome to Show Me Your Ability or Ability Gaming and uh, I'm your host Ability and today I'm trying something different, something new that I've never done before in my channel and I hope uh, you guys can enjoy it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to review my matches from the stream that I had recently and you know I'm going to give uh, feedback in terms of what I was thinking at the time and you know what I could have done and what, what, what I did wrong, what I did right and so on and I'm also going to like uh, review some of the Japanese that I've used in the in, in the clip in the in the video. Now I have this match uh, with against this Seth player. Warning: This is not high level play, but I know enough of the game to at least understand which part that I did wrong, which part that I could have done better, and so on. And let's get to it. Okay. Okay. Sashiburi dane. Seth. Sashiburi. Isashiburi. All right, round one, first first match. Who's this? Okay, I was throwing the fire clap, the thunder clap there, and uh, I'm not sure. I don't think Seth has anything at that range to deal with uh, my fire clap, uh, thunder clap. Certain characters has a really long low attack because low attacks beat thunder clap. Like not really beat, but it can go under thunder clap, and it, either I'll block it or I'll get hit by it. And either way, the thunder clap will disappear. Okay, so there, I didn't know what was the status of that. Is it safe or not? And I think it is safe. And the, the only reason that that got hit, he probably backdashed there. So it got hit and that's why it's counter hit on my crouching medium punch. Crouching medium punch is a semi... Is, is my, it's not a go-to move. If you're a Laura player, your go-to move to mash at, in a position where you think, you know, you are either at an advantage or, or you know, it is safe to do so like minus uh, like at plus it's a standing light punch okay which is three frames so but second one you the second fastest one is uh standing light kick or crouching like your crouching medium light 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 punch at four frames and the third one is crouching medium punch which is uh, five frames yeah in that case i put i did a crouching medium punch okay so that's two reasons Two ways to look at that because after the crouching medium punch into light bolt i'm plus two at plus two you know normal thinking is okay i'm at plus two and i would like to make you give you uh, make you guess on this 50 50 you know i put 50 50 because it's not truly a 50 50 but either i'm gonna press a button because i'm i'm at an advantage i can press a button or i'm gonna throw you okay so both of these options will lose to if the, the opponent has an invisible reversal or DP. So if you if you if you know the match, Laura matchup, at that moment is where you can consider throwing a dragon punch or invisible option. Yeah, that is safe. Wait, let's just go back a bit. Okay, after the air to air, and because of that, we landed at almost the same time, and I mash. Okay, I press standing light kick, which is four frames, and on counter hit. It, it combos into a crouching medium punch. That's why it, everything here combos. Ah, you see, I tried to win. I tried to go for a reset. You know, uh, more pressure. Like after the EX thunderclap, I'll hit you in the in the air and then dash in and then, you know, I can hit a button. I can grab you. It's, it's the same thing. Laura is just just three things. I can hit you. I can uh, command grab or, or normal grab or I can wait, bait bait the dp like that but in that case obviously i didn't bait the dp let's save all that is safe right as you can see i have no idea which one is safe and which one is not safe okay attack the throw oh yeah that move uh i think it's if you if it's done correctly it's hard to anti air okay i'm not sure if laura is easy or not but uh because basically any move that can change your air trajectory or change your timing in the air can be a bit troublesome to deal with uh, with entire air okay uh, in general okay there's of course there's exceptions and uh, apparently this set somehow didn't really utilize that much against me nice entire air okay that's quite a big damage also for entire air but for some characters the entire air doesn't really do anything okay i messed that up actually so okay okay after the dp right so what I can do, there's a lot of options actually, I'm not going to list all of that down, but 
I can do a crush counter standing heavy punch into a I think a medium clap and then crouching heavy into bolt into knockdown into a side switch knockdown which give me the best oki out of all that is probably the basic uh, DP punish for Laura yeah that's a bad one what? that's a loop yeah I, I I forgot that that move is a loop but it's not that I can react to it it's just like a random comment okay I was desperate, okay, there, what, what I was doing, can you can you can hear me pressing button like 1 and 2, so I can like, it's not that I just press one button, I press 1 and I press something else, so I was desperate, I was fishing for V-Trigger activation, so as you can see, I even did uh, standing medium kick first after the attack, okay, standing medium kick, see, standing medium kick, activate, standing heavy punch, activate, but it didn't, it didn't hit, it didn't block, so, okay, and that, yeah, that was lucky, okay, that that I didn't expect that standing heavy punch to hit, so that definitely helps because if, if it's blocked, then it's still send it to guess. It's not confirmed, but that standing medium punch somehow somehow hits. Yeah, so that was almost there, but I guess in my head I forgot about that, and I just did a crush counter clap into standing heavy standing medium punch and nothing. So it's it's pretty bad. It's not don't do that. Okay. Because after the standing hip medium punch hit, I jumped. Like, what? Why would you do that? Doesn't make sense. Nice. Nice check. I cannot do that. That online bullshit. Pardon the language. Okay. Started using that. Uh, yeah. Dive or oh, air kick. I forgot the name. Okay. Okay. I see the Seth jumping in this way. So I'm already, I'm already pre like preparing to enter air. Like, you know. You see? can see my Laura is already starting the heavy bolt attack which is the entire air move against this kick and this kick is is pretty high so if he starts this move a bit lower it might trace because the thing with Laura's entire air HP bolt it's not like a show you can like <clears throat> it doesn't have invisibility I don't think it has any much invisibility or if at all so that there's a lot of times that uh, I that move traits with the uh, air, air, air attack so like someone attacking from the air and I did the entire air and it, the, the hitbox hitbox clashes and uh, he, he takes some damage but not the full damage you know because Laura's uh, HP bolt damage comes from the the initial going upwards and when it when it comes down nope yeah see the second part is the one that gives the most damage so that's that's a one of a Laura Oki, but it's manual timing, so it's it's hard to get it perfectly. In that case, uh, it didn't hit perfectly. Let me let me show you. Okay, after this, okay, that is a knockdown, and uh, I did it too late. He's already standing up. Okay, so I want I want the light bolt to hit Meaty. So I did it late. So I think he's probably uh, back dashing there because it's counter hit and hit, it hits them in air. I messed that timing of the meaty of standing medium punch. Yeah. That's on me. Again, all mo manual timing. Oh no! Alright, so just now the the EX bolt attack has armor but it can only absorb one hit. So, yeah, that was stupid of me. That's also stupid of me. I don't know why I did that. No! Okay, managed to hit him from that. No! Nice. Yeah, I think I probably just. I, I think I gave up already at the time. I did a bunch of like a uh, bunch of uh, suspicious decisions there, like the wish shift, random wish shift. Maybe. Okay. Kara no. DP. Okay. I. As you can see, I expected a DP. I baited a DP. I read the DP after the knockdown because, uh, as you can see, he's pretty like close to stun already. Okay, let's go here. It all started with a meaty standing medium punch, which combos into all of this. Okay, no? at this one I pick uh, the same side. If your opponent in the corner, picking the K ender of the bolt puts you in the same side and keeps the opponent in the corner, even though the O key is not as good as the punch ender because the punch ender switches sides and uh, but puts you closer to the opponent. So meaning that you, it's easier for you to do a meaty attack. But this one not that not that easy. And but I keep that in mind that the stun bar is already almost full and I'm in a position where I can pressure them rather safely 
or pretend to pressure them and to bait a dragon punch. DP? See? I walk forward. You see, I walk forward after that. And after the knockdown, I walk forward pretending like I'm going to press something or do something. And that guy just EX DP. Yeah, probably I probably should have gone with a, a reset option there, like the what you call it, the the one where I will, I will do a reset into a meaty overhead. It's risky, but as you can see, I have a full health right now, so I'm, I'm I can afford to take a little bit of risk if it guarantees the, the round. But right now, is he, gonna, is he gonna make a comeback? No, he's just gonna do as much damage as he can. Prayer. Okay. Wanchanaru. Yeah. Okay. The, if you can see, I say Wanchanaru. Gyakten. So Wanchanaru is basically. Wanchan is basically a short for one chance in, in English, but it, it's a Japanese. Japan, Japanese, yeah. Basically, uh, you know, he, this guy has a chance to, to make a comeback. Gyakten is a comeback. Okay. Gyakten. So basically, I just say that, oh. This guy has one chance to make a comeback. He has no resources anymore. Okay. Yeah, he should have used that more in the match. Okay. This is where I made a mistake. I could have killed him because I did a crouching medium kick into a uh, V-trigger activation. And I believe that if I do a light bolt, it would have hit and it would have killed him. But somehow I... I thought I had enough time to do a forward heavy, heavy punch and uh, yeah, on block the first hit is minus two and I just, I don't know why I managed to grab that because I don't want to get grabbed but it whiffs ah! I'm gonna die here, am I gonna die? I'm gonna backdash I'm gonna backdash, I'm gonna backdash, I'm gonna backdash. Yeah, I started to panic there, it's probably not a good idea ah, I'm dead! I thought I was dead Okay Okay, so Okay. Yeah, why I say that? Yoko Wakanai Kido is like I, I have no idea what, what happened. I don't understand why why is it happening? Why did it happen? But somehow I won. Okay. So yeah, because I I threw that EX uh, clap and I just stand up and just blocking and yeah, we were like in an awkward position just now. Okay, yeah, and, okay. And for some reason he got hit by that. We I have no idea why. <clears throat> I don't think he can DP out of it. What he could have done is probably just block it. Block if he blocks it, and I, I'm at plus three. Most of the time, I'm plus three, and yeah, he has to take my buttons next. But yeah, he won't die because so I cannot. Like the thing, the thing with Laura is she cannot chip kill you. She doesn't have a CA or super that can kill you because in this game only in only CA or critical art or super can chip kill you. Chip kill meaning that, you know, even if you block it, you'll take damage and that damage can kill you. Okay, Laura cannot do that because the Cause super is... is not dead. Yeah. Because the super is a, it's not a hit, it's a grab. And then, uh, yeah, I said Nande. Nande is why. 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 Alright, so basically I just said like, uh, why? Like Nande. Atata. Atata is hit. Okay, hit patas past tense of hit. So I was wondering why did it hit? And um uh, Yeah, and then I said no GI, okay, no GI. I'm gonna put it on screen like all this Japanese word. I'm just gonna put it in the comments or whatever. So you can work learn. This is also how I I learned Japanese back when I was living and studying in Japan because you know I like fighting games. So I study fighting games terms so that I can use it with my Japanese fighting games friends. So for example, no GI. No GI here is means that it's a casual game meaning it doesn't count in terms of if it's a tournament it doesn't count like for example you can go to an event you can go to a tournament or something and they will have like a setup set there and they will say that oh that setup is for no gi meaning that uh, it's casual match it doesn't count to your results in the tournament or whatever so yeah i'm gonna put the kanji and everything on the screen okay no gi <laughs> Okay, so basically I say that because this is a no GI, because this is a casual match, uh, it's probably not as, as salty compared to if it's if this is a rank match. So this is not a rank match. So you know the way that that matches that match ended in a weird way, 
probably he messed up okay even even though you know he messed up it's not as as, as salty or as painful as if you lose a, a, a rank match or a tournament match so that's why i was saying that if i if i was the seth player i'm probably not going to be as salty i think okay but you know that's just my assumption it's not confirmed or anything oh haiku deru ne Alright, so this is just thing I like to say like Tobu is jump so you know Tobimas and I just say that as I jump and then Taiku is anti-air okay I'm gonna put Taiku the kanji how to spell it and all that Taiku and then Deru name I mean Deru is comes out so oh your, your anti-air comes out you know okay alright so I was just that that is kind of bad of me because I like I like the habit I have the habit of whiffing moves like that and it's, it's really bad because if I whiff that whiffing stuff like sweep or heavy buttons in general is is something that is usually very punishable in 2d fighting games okay I'm just gonna say 2d because I'm not gonna compare this to 3d 2d fighting games and um, even though the argument is in Street Fighter 5 it's it's harder to do so because of the stubby normals and stuff like that because of the lag or whatever right so it's not as easy but it is possible Okay, that was a bad one. I'm not sure if that's a punish. Dame da. Tonja dame. Yeah, whether tonja dame is uh, basically jumping is bad. You know, don't jump. Okay, don't jump. So basically, I just I'm just telling myself to not jump because I keep jumping a lot, and I get entire. Air. Okay, so uh, I hesitated there in this fight in fighting games. One moment, okay, one one fraction of hesitation like, can be a really a big decisive factor whether you're going to be able to do certain things for example entire air okay and if you are confident like if you're ready for it you see that then you you don't know no hesitation you do entire air i'm definitely sure that i will i'm able to entire air that thing but i have some hesitation inside me and that's what happened eh? skashita no ni? yeah skashita no ni means uh despite you whiffing See, he whiffed that kick, right? And I tried to punish, but although maybe I picked the wrong button to punish with heavy kick, I don't know why. Because even though I'm sure that Seth whiffing that kick has uh, recovery frames on landing, it's probably not not uh, not enough for me to land a heavy kick. Maybe if I do a medium medium button, it's probably, it might work. Okay. Hey. Yeah, I was surprised because. Okay, I tried. I tried to do a tick throw there, like a, a I think it's standing like kick into command grab. <laughs> he didn't get hit by it, obviously. So that's why I said command nage mo ataranai. Command nage is command command grab. The full name is commando nage. Nage is grab. The Japanese word. There's a lot of shortened shortened words and shortened the commando nage to command nage. So that's another word that you can add to your fighting Japanese fighting games vocabulary. Command nage. Yeah, I was just trying out. I, I don't think that's punishable, but I tried to punish it with a uh, light bolt. By the way, the standing standing light punch into crouching medium punch is not a real frame trap. I mean, it's not a real block string because standing light punch is only a frame trap into standing light punch. Okay, so I'm, I think, I don't know, plus one. If I press anything else besides standing light punch after standing light punch, it can be interrupted by, by buttons. Okay, fast buttons. Yeah, that one. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's easier said than done, but I think it's possible at a high level play. Which this is not, by the way. Okay, I didn't entire that. Pretty bad. Yeah, I, sure. yeah, I, I was... I, di I didn't know. I thought, I, thought this was a, I thought this was an attack coming. Give me a second. When he did the, the command dash kind of thing. Yeah, I thought something is coming. And you know, and in my brain, I cannot process like what's what's going to happen. Is he going to do like a special move here or what? But then I saw him just stopping there, and I think I tried to tag there, tag a throw because usually people do moves like that, and then grab you. So I tried to try to tag, but probably too slow, and got counter hit by the. Yeah, sure. Punch. Right, this is a very long. It's going to be a long um, video. Come on again. Okay. Alright. That's just me doing a gimmicky move. Round start. 
dash dash into command grab dash in japan is my stay my stay also is another example of a shortened japanese uh, word uh, from my step okay my is forward my okay the, the reverse of that is ushiro or buck so you know uh, like back dash buck dash but f forward did sometimes they call it dash or dash you or sometimes they call it my stay my stay is my stepping forward okay so instead of step again shorten it to susute my stay i miss that meaty again that's bad tobuka tonde kuru ka say i predicted that are you going to jump tonde kuru okay tonde to, tonde is from tobu which is jump kuru is come but so you like you're going to come and jump to me you're going to come via jumping towards me are you gonna are you gonna jump towards me and indeed he did jump but i didn't do anything because uh, that was funny okay so he whiffed that and i believe i should be able to punish that with a medium bolt at least could have probably could reach it but yeah i tried to punish with that and it's too late one is too late and it doesn't cover as much range and i'm not sure maybe a ex bolt would do the job as well Right now, under the assumption that medium bolt and uh, ex bolt is the same range, uh, both probably should work just in that situation just now. Tobu, Tobu the show. Yeah, I made that uh, read read that it's gonna jump like Tobu, and indeed he jumped. And this time I didn't mess it up. I did a heavy bolt. Come on again. Okay, this is just like typical Laura pressure in the corner. I always wanted to Laura will love to press the button you know the, the usual medium punch medium punch heavy punch cancel into the ex thunderclap because the thunderclap will put put me in a plus position if i'm not mistaken it's plus three and uh, meaning that i can continue pressure for most laura they like to end their whatever strings into ex thunderclap and that's why it's it's probably a good idea to do your v reversal at the time one is because you'll make you'll make the laura waste one ex meter because she she will always she'll consume the meter to do the ex clap but your v reversal will go through that and knock 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 the laura away oh all right so i tried to go for a meaty nah, light bolt there but he just did a wake up super but to me it doesn't matter because okay. it's not that bad yeah i say yes I say Yasui yo. Yasui is cheap in japanese and in, in fighting games Yasui usually means like the damage is not not that big like for example um Okay, for example, you 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 block a DP, and then you you didn't do the optimal combo. You just do like light button into a something. So th the commentary or sometimes even the player will think like, oh yeah, sweet, meaning that that's very low damage for low damage than it's supposed to be. Like you can make a mistake. For example, like you you're playing right, and then you make a mistake, and then your opponent uh, punish you, but not in maximum punish then you will say you can say that yeah sui wait none. okay let's see that okay after the air to air i go for the meaty standing medium punch okay and there actually i wanted to do crouching light kick crouching light punch into a light bolt but the light punch didn't come out and you know wait and the not combo 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 yeah it's just me combo, panicking combo combo, combo. Yeah, just block everything. Shut, shut, shut. Give me one Alright. Yeah. So I think that last that last one is only possible because I didn't wake up. I didn't set myself to wake up. Uh, quick wake up. So I just stayed on the ground, and then he already whiffed the the multiple aura aura punch. Then I wake up and just punish that with the crouching. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, just saying. What? I don't know. What can I? Just save, right? Man, that does good chip. Save? This, this is chip. Ah, save. Alright, just, just bulldog my way. Alright, so that's the thing that I could have done better is... Save. Okay, after... Inside, no? Okay, meaty, right? Okay, that's a meaty standing heavy punch. I'm not sure if I got it perfectly correctly or not, but that's a setup, like after a knockdown, especially the... the punch follow up for the medium bolt i can just walk forward a tiny bit and then heavy punch and it will be meaty and on hit it's it's 
uh, if it's properly meaty on hit, I can combo into a medium button, like medium crouching, medium punch. But uh, if you're not confident whether you got the meaty correctly or not, after the standing heavy punch, you can actually press, you can combo into standing light punch into bolt or standing light kick into bolt. Like that. Yeah, and then I made, I made, I cancelled the stand, the block standing heavy punch into the clap. Block, 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 block. Because I want to make it, uh, I want to keep pressuring. Okay, because if, if normally if you just block the standing heavy punch, I'm done. It's no longer my turn and it's your turn to do stuff. But if I cancel it into the EX clap, it is still my turn. Okay. Yeah, and then I got greedy. I got greedy, and that, that, that guy just uh, we got super. Right there, I say like gather the kinai, meaning that I cannot grab, I cannot block on time. I cannot block because sometimes when you do a fast attack on wake up, like I try to uh, standing light punch, maybe I don't know why, but if, let's say just I just want to do standing light punch on you on wake up, I can do it, and then you did a super and. If the super maybe during the super startup, there is still time for me to to block. Okay, sometimes, but in this case, no, because I press uh, koashi. Koashi is a light kick. Ko is small. Ashi is leg, so small leg, so small leg. Koa ko okay. Koa is koashi. Okay, that's a shorter, much more shorter version. Koashi is the short leg, which is light kick, crouching light kick, but the shorter version is koa koa. Koa. Instead of Koashi, it's just Koa. And light punch is Kopa, which is Ko Panchi. Shortened to Kopa. Okay, that was probably a, that's not a good trigger activation to be honest. Okay, that's that's where you can say Yasui because I did an EX bolt. EX bolt is very punishable on block. If you if you ever block that show you there if you block this uh, just use your heavy button to punish it like Laura I can do like forward heavy punch like her, her slowest move her slowest normals special normal and you will punish that so the, the the fact that the the Seth only crouching jab me okay just I got lucky, he could have won this easily. I think he's still gonna win this one, but yeah. Okay, Gedan. Yeah, Gedan is low attack. Okay, Gedan. Gedan is a low attack. Uh, Chudan is the overhead attack. And Jodan is a high attack. Okay. Yeah, that, that just shows that how much I don't know about this game. I don't play it as often, if at all. So, you know. Yeah, this is me like watching. making excuses for myself. I'm sorry <laughs> if it is what it is. Yeah, let's go, Laura. Let's go, Momochi. Here's, here's another thing I'm going to show you. Okay, that one. Crouching medium kick. Okay, the thing with crouch, Laura's crouching medium kick is it can be late cancel. It can The cancel timing can vary like early or late into a light bolt which is the elbow thing and uh, there's there is that to consider when you're blocking crouching medium kick usually people will wait for me to do the light bolt which is the elbow because on block is minus two and it's it's your turn it's not my turn anymore i cannot do anything basically except waiting to take a take a throw see and uh so but i didn't cancel it here and it it, it generates a hesitation to the player because the player if I am me, if I'm pretending to be the Seth player, I probably expected the elbow to come and then eh, the elbow didn't come. So there's a split second there where I'm shocked that the elbow didn't come out and he probably wanted to do something and I did another like another middle medium kick and that, this time it hits and this time I cancel into the light bulb. I think I overly rely on that stuff, the clap, heavy punch and then into the uh, into the mix up I can go actually after the clap this one okay after this reset okay after this I can decide whether I can go cross up or on the same side okay this time I'm cross up but certain characters uh, I don't know which one certain characters is uh, you will always cross up I think Zangief or something yeah but uh, most characters you can choose 
based on how long do you press the the V skill dash, and usually you will end up forward. Okay, usually you will end up forward, and it's harder to do the. It's a bit harder to do the cross up version. It's easy to mess up. Okay, I'm not sure if that's a the true punish there. Yeah, I just remember that Seth has super low health, so yeah, I, think I, did, I think I did a lot of damage here, but okay, I want to. Okay, this one, it's on block. I tried to punish with. Yeah, tried to punish with crouching light punch into a light bolt, and I have no idea if it's real or not. It's just me attempting to punish it. Is that? Yeah, that's a bit tricky to enter air because uh, it's possible. And it's, it's my bad for not doing it. At least it, in but 4, I'm not sure in 4, but it's something that is not easy to do. Okay. Here is is kind of. Uh, there is a position in the screen where if you jump, you are, you are in range like vaguely between crossing up and not crossing up. And in a position where certain characters like Laura might have trouble in Tire Air if, if, uh, if I realize too late. If I already like ready for him to jump. I can enter this one with a heavy bolt easier, but okay, you see, he could have land as a cross up or just right on top of my head, and it's indeed a cross up. So yeah, it's like a very very tight cross up uh, angle that my to do a standing medium medium punch might be tricky to to beat that. They try to shimmy me there. Shimmy there. Okay, I did the wrong button to punish the shimmy. Is he here? Yeah, I walk back. He with a grab. Uh, I probably could have reached with a standing heavy punch. I did crouching medium punch there. I'm gonna try to deal. Okay, can I jump. I don't know what to do here, like, yeah, I'm just pressing the button. I'm not sure how minus is that. It's not punishable, but it's definitely minus. Okay, I managed to count, hit confirm the standing medium punch. Okay, I'm coming grab, what should I do? Light bolt? GP? No, I, w I was... GP? Okay, so I've been waiting for him to DP many times. I've been uh, expecting a DP like since okay, since here, but not okay, since here. DP. Okay, I predicted a DP, but he doesn't DP. Then I managed to hit confirm that. Couch, uh, nope. I did press. If you can, if you hear the button, I did press something. DP? I did press something there, but I was lucky. I was tempted to press something though. Just like I'm not tempted. I did press it. You can hear it. Button got pushed up, but but well, yeah, I said button got pushed up. Button is button, and pushed up is uh, osu is press. Pushed up is I wanted to press button. Well, pushed up, good. Yeah, this is me being delusional like, because I, I I thought I didn't press it at the time, but. As you can see with this video review, I did press something. It's just that maybe it's during the, the super activation, like the, the sets already activated the super, so when the screen goes black, when you press a button during that screen black, it doesn't register. If you press it before that, it will register, so... Ma! Son... Ma! Okay, let, let, let's just... Let's just... Just check again. Nope. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I pressed it after the... He started the super, so that's why. <sighs> Yeah, I think that's all and it's almost almost an hour of footage. I'm not sure how I'm gonna cut this. I might I hope you learned something from this video. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope it's educational in terms of uh, playing against Laura or as Laura or the Street Fighter in general. And the Japanese is just the cherry on top. It's nothing it's nothing substantial, it's just like some something a bit different compared to a bunch of stuff that's already out there right now. Wait, I'm gonna switch switch the screen so you can see me better. Right, so yeah, I appreciate it if you, uh, you know, let me know in the comments below after you hit subscribe and like, obviously, that what what kind of content that that you want. Do you do you do you do you can you appreciate this kind of content like as fighting Laura and and stuff like that, and maybe you can give me some advice and tips on how uh, how to deal with uh, 
Seth or whatever characters that I'm playing at the time. And you know, it, it's a learning process. I hope you learn something from it. I hope I learn something from it. And it's a win-win situation, you know. So that's it for today. And appreciate all the support I can get. And see you guys next time. Peace out.